Hi guys, it's Rob here. Um, today I've got a new demo for you, which um, which allows you to uh, use Live Blocks as a, a motion sensitive uh, security camera. Um, I think this is actually quite a useful example. Um, a lot of the time, people um, when they're watching like CCTV footage back or something like that, there's a lot of it that's uh, recorded, and you've just got to skip through it frame by frame. So instead, this just saves images. When uh, when it sees movement, so um, show you what I mean. So this is it here, and then you can see if I put my hand there, it detects the movement. And then if you look here in this directory, when I do that, every two seconds, it captures a new image. When I'm not there, nothing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I've shown you the out. How, what we've got here and then I'll just go through and I'll build it from scratch and this this will you'll be able to build in the actual uh, in the demo itself so I'm going to close that I'll just got to create a new thing okay so as you might expect the first thing we need is a camera drop that there and then um, I'm going to um, need to do motion detection on it so I'll get a movement detection block um, connect it up so there we move my hand in front of the camera get the movement the reason why it all goes like that is because of the uh, auto exposure on the, this particular webcam um, and then what I need to do is I need to count the number of white pixels we've used this technique before in the air drum kit so uh, pixel counter um, Connect that up. Okay. There we go. So you can see it's now counting how many pixels are white and how many pixels are black. And then we can use this number here, the amount, to trigger off it. Um, so then we need to get a compare trigger. We've also got here now. Uh, so I want a compare trigger. There we go. Right, just connect that. Connect that up, and then I just want to connect that control there, amount of non zero to input one. I want it to be high when it's less than 0.2. Um, and then we just take a, another block which is called a time loop. Um, and what this block does is it just loops around, so you can see here every one second at the moment is just making that. Okay, um, and we're going to just pause that when there's no movement. So I'm going to go from here to here. So when there's no movement, it's paused. When there is movement, it's not paused, and it will it will loop round, and it will, uh, and then we can then use that to trigger the action to take the photos. So then, um, what we need to do then is take a image output, which is there. Take the snapshot. Okay, drop that in, and then I'm just going to put that connected up there. So now, if I've got that and I can press take image, it takes it captures the image. Um, we want it PNG, which we can set here. Um, and then also, what we want to do is we want to use uh, auto numbering. Because at the moment, if we take the image, it will just overwrite the previous one. Uh, you'll see here. And uh, so, what I want to do is I want to auto number it. So, I click that there. And then, if I take images now, each one's going to have a new number after it. And then, very simply, all we do is we connect up the time loop here that's going to be triggered whenever there's movement to the take image uh, button here, like that. So, whenever there's movement now, it's going to be capturing images. And it's as simple as that. So now we can see in here there's a load more images. Okay, you can rename what you want to call the file there. Um, and yeah, um, so then I, uh, from one step further from this, um, what we can do then is we can actually turn it into an app because obviously we don't want this isn't exactly uh, the right user interface for someone who wants to use this. So uh, we go into the GUI builder here, click on that. Okay, the first thing we see is the layouts. Um, I think I'm just going to make this real simple, so I'm just going to make it maybe uh, 
I drop in a column and then a row in one side and a row in another side so it's two rows and then I think I'll put the um, time loop we want to what we want to be able to change is the max time so I'll put that in here so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put the settings on the right hand side and have a have an image on the left hand side um, we want to be able to set where we save it to so I'll put that there um, and the file name put that in there as well and what else are we gonna want we could put some of the camera settings but I don't think they're they're too important we could set the sensitivity but I think it, that's, that's fine being hardwired um, so yeah and I'll just put in maybe just the movement image and also the the output image as well okay so uh, yeah there's our app um, and then you can uh, lock that can pop it out um, and there we have it a little app that um, probably should have used splitters really because of the way the previews are uh, resizing but a little app that allows you to um, to uh, keep your uh, your security good by uh, keeping an eye on people and yeah so that's running there and then every time I move my hand we're going to get some new images in there Um, so yeah, um, what we can then do is uh, this will then I haven't actually put it into the demo, but in the full version, this can then export and run as a standalone application, and you'll be able to you'll be able to uh, yeah run that on its own without the whole live blocks framework around it. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped and uh, it shows you something we can do with live blocks that is uh, is um, you know fairly simple but also fairly useful. And uh, yeah, please uh, keep an eye on our website, keep up to date with our news and uh, like our page. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, take care. Bye.